<laughs> hello hello again we're here making some brunch and because it's late it's, it's almost 12 o'clock so um it's it's not breakfast it's past breakfast time so you know it started out late so it's saturday morning that's okay it's staying a little later so it's lunch time so that's what i'm doing even though you know i'm gonna do the greens and some fried dumplings and show you what we're doing this morning so come over here um with me over here i have um some mushrooms going in the pot so now i'm gonna you know put some i'm gonna first i'm gonna put a little turmeric and this i'm gonna put just like i'm not gonna put much half a teaspoon in it half a teaspoon in turmeric and turn this stove down a little medium a little bit off a medium not too low because like, i don't I, i'm gonna put it up here and, and low put it on low because i want everything to cook into it so that means when i put all this, i want the turmeric to cook in to the mushrooms Give it a little stirring. And then what I'm gonna do now is like turn it back down a little to medium. And then I'm gonna get my this is my kale right here. I already washed them, so I'm gonna put them in here. everything in there need your greens you guys put my pan back here then i'm gonna give it stir it in stir it real Try to cook it, everything into it, then okay. I'm gonna get um, my seasonings, and this is red pepper, orange peppers, onions, and I went outside and get some basil and a little cilantro together. So I now I'm gonna put it together. With the, with the kale, the mushrooms, so put everything in here. Here, and start this in it. Turn it back down on low because I don't, don't want it to um, to burn. Now I'm gonna go back over here. Get my next teaspoon, and this is the dry herbs. It's a meat blend, but it's just herbs inside of it. If you can see that, and I'm gonna put a half a teaspoon in here then I'm gonna this is dry basil ginger half a teaspoon of ginger little less than a half a cayenne I'm gonna put in there because you know cayenne is hot so I don't wanna I don't wanna put too much I'm 
my is half a teaspoon parsley half a teaspoon of parsley then I have my stove on and low so it doesn't uh, doesn't burn black sesame seed I'm gonna put one one scoop and this scoop comes with it and then I'm gonna borrow the same And this is the white one. So I'm gonna borrow this spoon out of it because this one doesn't come with and I'm gonna give it the same amount. What I'm gonna do, I have spring water spring water boiling in the kettle so I'm gonna put a little in here and then I'm gonna put it back on medium so everything cooked in just like um, not quite a half a cup but you want everything to cook in together so all the seasoning and everything together What I'm gonna do, turn it up a little bit more so um, it can cook in and then I put it back down on, on medium. And um, one thing more I need to put in there, pink. I'm gonna give it like one teaspoon. Not, um, not it doesn't have soya inside of it so you use this instead of um, using soya because we know we're not Spice supposed to, you know we're not supposed to be consuming soya in our body so this is better for us if you want to look for this we got this in um, old foods and I think public sell it I don't know if other supermarket um, maybe Trader Joe's Depends what you have in your area. I don't know what kind of store where, where you live because I know some, it's not everywhere they have old foods or, or Publix. I'm gonna let this, I'm gonna put this on medium because you want to make sure it's cooked and I have a pot over here and I have some olive oil in it How much? Um, it depends, on the, it, it's not much but I, I want to put the dumplings inside of it but my dumplings go in cold also I'm going to wash my hands so you can see I wash my hands I'm drying my hands off and this is my flour that I made and cover up with my dumplings and we don't, this is pearl flour and I don't use butter or none of that. So what I do for butter, instead of butter, I use, I use applesauce inside of this to make them nice and soft. So I, I made it up and I sit it down for a little bit. So now I'm going to put them in the coal oil. And I mean, they feel so fluffy when you're making them because I put a lot of, I put like a half a cup of applesauce 
inside of the flour and I'm putting all these dumplings in coal oil and then I'm gonna put it on medium so they can come out nice cook nice and brown and they never have grease inside of them sometimes people will think that yo you put them in coal oil they're gonna have grease no if you when you put them in hot oil and just fry them like that they're greasy another one like grease in my dumpling these don't get no grease they just come out nice and brown and and you'll see in a, in a little bit because I'm making making them and putting them in here so you see it how they come out and my my greens and my veggie all my veggies are looking good over there my mushrooms my kale my peppers and onion and you can you know if you want like when you're cooking down those greens and stuff you can put a lot of non-sugar um barbecue sauce make sure you know what's inside of it or or a little tomato sauce you can make a little tomato sauce and put it inside of the veggies because it help um, give it a little flavor and what you can do if you're using um if you're going to use tomato sauce inside of it to take away a little bit of the sourness you can put a little bit of honey mix it inside of it and then put it in there and you'll get that good flavor you have the eat and a little sweetness inside of it and make it taste even much better make you want to go back keep eating it because you have a little sweetness and a little eat in the meanwhile I didn't put no garlic in here but you can put garlic if you want I always like to buy um, I use the organic um, garlic and the powder and I use the the clothes and I just um, put them but today I didn't put none in there so I'm gonna try to make all these dumplings fit in here now I'm gonna turn the stove on this one too I don't want them to burn so I'm gonna sit all of them in one time so Everything is going in. See, everything is in here. I'm gonna let it um let these fry. Medium. Yeah. Let me check my um check my veggies and taste it to make sure I have enough seasoning it looks good but just gonna give it a taste perfect I don't need to put nothing else in there It is just right. I just want it to cook down a little bit more. A little bit more and then we can turn it off. Wash your hands. Try to keep everything clean while while I'm cooking. I'm <laughs> I'm cleaning. So when when you finish cooking, you know you don't have to do all that cleaning, you know, because everything is already almost cleaned up. So you don't have a whole lot beside what you eat out of on the pots. And some people don't like to wash wash the pots. Then I know when when we were growing up. Um, some some of us want to wash the, the plates and and the other one and we say the other one need to wash the pots you don't want to wash the pots because you, you have to shine the pots you know you have to scour them down put the we used to get the hashes from the fire outside on the steel room and the pots were shine i mean shine when you don't shine them you could see your your face through that sometimes you don't want to do you know you don't want to do it but you know you have to do it because you need the pot to cook into again right you can't pile them up you have to 
keep everything clean so later on when you're ready you know it's done so this one I'm gonna um, I'm gonna turn it off because I want some good juice in it some gravy inside of it so when you're eating them dumplings <laughs> you know you have you have something to you know put them dumplings in because these are uh, trust me when you do these the dumplings like this inside of it is gonna come out nice inside so then you don't have no grease inside of so that you're able to you can cut it, your dumplings and just put just pack it with all your veggies inside of it and just eat it like that. that's how i like to do just slice it put all your veggies inside of it and eat it and i'm telling you it's it's gonna be good and just waiting on these um dumplings to um to start that you can see the arc start bubbling a little bit because you don't want to make it too hot because when it's when it's too hot the dumplings burn and then they have oil inside of it and you don't want that so we don't want them to burn we want them to come out really nice you know and this pearl flour really does good and um, putting the apple sauce inside of it it make it taste really it have a nice little sweetish taste but it I mean the flavor inside of it is good so it's good that we're gonna have the mushrooms and the greens onions and the peppers and all the good season inside of it so um, I know it's gonna be a good <laughs> I know we're gonna enjoy this I think I, I, I should make some chocolate tea um, to have with this because you know I always like ch my chocolate tea with my my dumplings are when I was growing up, it was like the hard dough bread. We used to butter the hard dough bread and make the chocolate tea. And what we used to do, we used to dip the, break off the bread and with the butter and dip it down in the chocolate tea. And, and boy, that thing used to be so good. But the chocolate, one thing with chocolate tea, you have to be careful with it because it's like it's, it's sleeping. We, we say sleeping, like it's, you know, and when you make a sip, that thing is so hot. It all will burn your tongue or you, you know, so you have to be so careful with chocolate tea, you know, take your time with it. But I usually love to dip my, my butter bread inside of it. And, you know, when you make a fried, we used to make fried dumpling and ackee and saltfish or, or kalaloo and saltfish. Or if we don't have saltfish, we just cook up the kalaloo and make fried dumpling and a, a cup of chocolate tea. You, you, you're gone clear, everything, you feel good when you finish for the rest of the day because you already get up, do what you have to do if you if it's not school day or whatever and you know, have a good breakfast or sometime we used to get up and boil green bananas in the morning. As we have banana right there, we just cut it on a banana, peel them banana and cook up some um, some colour or some aki and saltfish. And I'm telling you, man, see what I'm saying with the dumplings? yeah that's how you have to do it you know you they come out nice and you know when them are um, them ready to you know you know when them ready see that's what i'm talking about i was gonna do flitters and you know just cook up the stuff and and just put the all the greens and all that stuff and the flour and make some um flitters <laughs> with everything cooked up inside of it. Then I kind of changed my mind. I said, you know what, that's like it. The way I did the fried dumpling last week, we had the veggie burgers and then I cooked up all the mushrooms and then I just coat the burger with the mushrooms and the, all the veggies and the gravy and everything. I did the barbecue sauce and man, I tell you, I put a little maple syrup inside of it and I tell you, that thing came out, it was so good. You could just, the gravy, if you, if you cook up some rice or whatever, you know, if you love rice and you cook rice, that gravy, you could just eat it, just the gravy alone with the rice, without nothing. I'm telling you, um, being a vegan and, you know, first you say, what am I going to eat? But, you know, if you're used to eating a lot of vegetables and you know how to, put them together and to make them taste really good you don't have a problem you know everything will just come out really nice and uh, I'm telling you it's no different uh, man when you taste even the burgers and stuff with the mushrooms and all the veggies the greens and everything man that thing is like you're eating meat 
you don't miss meat because you're getting everything because there's so much veggies that you put inside of the burger to make it plus you're doing veggies on the side or if you're doing like a salad on the side so you're getting everything I mean because we need to eat a lot of greens every day because we need that for iron and you know different things for our body and and all that stuff so these are the things we need to try to put in our diet every day and our children diet every day and you know they say not to say diet because it's not a diet but <laughs> whatever whatever meal we do every day we need to put greens make sure we have a lot of veggies all kind of veggies good things that bring life to our body and our children their body because we really need this I was talking to a friend this morning and and she was even talking to me about you know one of our child was having some issues and when she stopped um, eating all the um, the carrots and the broccoli and stuff like that all those things she cut out and she didn't have those problems anymore so these are the things that we really need to because we know that from Dr. Sebi was telling us about the carrots and the broccoli and we should stay away from those things because they were made in the lab and we have to really seriously think about these things that we're doing because the carrots and stuff they should be really um, like of a creamish looking color if they're real carrots and stuff not no orange and purple and whatever you understand that that's those are carrots and if they create what they've already created of me we you know tend to chain things around or the system chain things around because like if you have a famine or whatever and, and you were hungry they're gonna do all kind of stuff in the lab to make the to feed the people so food is there to feed them but we have to try that's why we need nature and we need to be out in nature because like here where we are we can't heat the the, the um the trees what you call the oak trees you can't heat the leaves and they have the palm trees and the oak trees and stuff like that we need to be out in nature where we can get fruits and a lot of veggies a lot of greens where we can pick the plum leaves and even eat them so we can survive off of those things but we can't survive off of a land that doesn't produce if you live in a cold place where now the winter is coming and the the trees start shedding leaves you can't grow no vegetation that we need to eat there so we need to be out in nature where we have sunlight because we are the sun so we need to be eating the sun and these are the things that are very important for us and there's so much we need to think about and you know as I said all the time you know we think that our children we keep on saying that our children is not going to eat the veggies and the fruits and whatever we provide but if we start giving it to them and introducing these things to them because when my my children were born I start feeding them the same kind of food that I eat and all the veggies and all the kind of food that I eat they were eating the same food and that's how they're going to come and like those things so you have to introduce this to the kids them and from inside of the, the home, as I said, too, you know, but even when they come out, you have to continue um, giving it to them. And these are getting a little brown, so I'm going to take these out and get a bowl. Get a bowl. <laughs> and, I'm gonna, and you see my fork went straight through it. Look, straight through it. So I know it's cooked. Straight through it. You can hear the fork um, going through it, so I know it's ready. These I'm gonna let they cook some more. I know this one need to cook some more because I can see it, you know. This one I'm gonna let it soak a little bit more. And what I'm gonna do is fix a plate for the cameraman. Nice of you. <laughs> Cameraman is gonna get the, the first, the first plate. Rinse the spoon. And it look like it's gonna rain. So, don't be careful. Okay, Mr. Cameraman, how many dumplings you want? Two? Uh, two for now? You said 12? I said two. <laughs> get a fork, and I'm gonna put it over here. If you need some more, it's there, and I want you to taste, taste the veggies.
Mm-hmm. <laughs> See how they um and I'm burning my dumplings of course because I'm I'm doing so much stuff at the same time. So but these are finished and turn the stove off. And you can hear the fork going through them. These are your dumplings. <laughs> I hope you all I hope you all enjoy this little video for um, lunch time. <laughs> it's late, it's not breakfast. Now it's what almost 12 30, it's after 12. It's what 20 um, 20 minutes after 12 so now we, it's lunch time so we're gonna have lunch I think I'm gonna make a little chocolate tea and we're gonna have this for breakfast and I hope you enjoy this little video and remember that I love you and see you back soon again <laughs> take care